Hello everyone, I just uh, wanted to make a video because I've been uh, fiddling around with these little element cube knickknacks, uh, more like they're like desk ornaments or, you know, just for collectors of people who are interested in, you know, just having pure elements or having uh, periodic table elements, whatever. It, it's pretty cool if you're interested in it, I guess. Uh, so I have a few of these and uh, we're just going to compare because I just got my tungsten cube in the mail, which super excited about it. So. Let's just go through the ones. I only have four, uh, a few of these cubes, but we'll go through a few of them, see see what the difference is in you know the the composition and, and and a few other properties of the elements as well as the weight of these cubes. So this is the first one I got. It's a carbon has a little six on there. Uh, carbon cube. This is about thirty seven grams by weight for for the for this cube that is point uh, oh eight pounds roughly. Uh, yeah, so. Uh, really light again 37 grams like just over an ounce uh, or an ounce and a half roughly it's like like coal like you you'd imagine it like coal like carbon very very light okay very cool very light carbon most important element let's be real then we have um oh okay, here this iron cube so it's a pure iron as you can see, it's already tarnishing. I only got this like a couple weeks ago and it has uh, it's oxidizing. It's got the rust on there already, but that's how you know it's pure iron, I guess, because it's gonna oxidize. I was gonna spray some uh, some lacquer on here or something to make sure that it didn't oxidize, but I haven't, so I'd have to like clean it and then do that. So maybe I, I will in the future. Uh, this one, significantly heavier. Like this one is, uh, let's see, 130 grams in this. So 37 grams in this. This one 130 grams so we're talking like four almost four times the weight in this and you can feel like significant difference very cool very dense compared to this so yeah v very nice so yeah about let's see looking at the weights of these and something's not adding up because i, I must have oh no yeah 0.18 pounds this is 0.18 pounds and this is 0 0.08 pounds, that's right. Okay, my numbers were a little messed up there. Very nice. And then we're gonna move on to my third cube, which is this titanium. This is like, this was pretty legit when I got it because titanium doesn't oxidize, so it's gonna stay this nice shiny and it's, it's so shiny and nice. Like having these, uh, these cubes are so cool because you can see that just the quality of titanium in general it's it's got a luster to it it's it's lighter than iron and it looks so much nicer we've got the atomic radii on the back and it's a 99.5 uh, 995 it means 99.5 percent titanium purity um this one's only 0.16 pounds so it's slightly less uh than iron only uh 73 grams yeah, okay, yeah, 73 grams, so about twice as heavy as uh, the carbon one. So, yeah, very interesting, and let's move on to uh, our final piece of the puzzle here. Uh, this one's a little different because, one, it doesn't have markings on it, and two, because it's 1.5 inches. This cube is incredible. It is so heavy. Like, when I, when you, like, co comparing these cubes, this one's 1.5 inches as opposed to the one-inch cubes I have over here. But when I say that this thing is heavy, holy cow, it is one kilo. This is a 1.5 inch cube. It is not that big. Very, like a relatively small, not even, like not even the size of it, like a little bit bigger than a golf ball if, if you were to insert it inside this thing. It is heavy. It is very heavy. Tungsten, let's, let's talk about tungsten. Tungsten, like one of the densest, the densest like freaking, other than gold, iridium, and osmium, this is as dense as it's going to get, I think, uh, that you can actually hold in your hand, that is. So it's about the exact same density as gold, too. So gold is just ever so slightly uh, denser. So if you've ever, you know, worked with gold or have a block of gold, then congratulations, it's going to be just like this. And I don't think any of us are holding a block of iridium or osmium, which I was actually looking up, you know, just curiosity about iridium and osmium because I was totally, like, on some sort of geek hunt, you know, with these elements and trying to find the densest, like, the most extreme one and there's like the 10 millimeter iridium cubes and that was like three thousand dollars for a 10 millimeter iridium cube and I, it's uh, it's like 
I want, I want to, but I'm not going to spend the money on that. But let's go through some other things. Okay. So one of the other cool things about tungsten is it's really hard. I think chromium is obviously harder, the hardest metal, but this has like a Mohs rating of about seven, which is pretty freaking high up there. So if I wanted to like polish this or something, I, I would be in some serious trouble here. Also, another thing to note about tungsten is it's a melting point. It has the highest melting point of any metal, which is 6,165 degrees. So if you want to like work with this metal, like you have to have these special furnaces that can melt it or sinter it down into these cubes. And more or less what they do, uh, if I'm reading this rightly, is they have a tungsten powder or tungsten compound or whatever form in a powder form. And then they mix it with a little bit of nickel in here, which gives it this like, it has like a, like 3% nickel in here and 1.5% iron. And what they do is they pretty much put this uh, powder into this like crucible that's roughly the shape of this. And then they heat it up to these astronomical degrees. And I guess they compress it into this cube here. And then they machine it with, I'm assuming tungsten carbide or, or whatever they need to, to get this nice finish on here. But the process that goes into making this material is quite extravagant because of just how hard and just how high of a melting point it has so i mean it's just an amazing piece of uh if you're interested in, in uh you know chemistry and 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 that sort of thing it's just cool to have just the feel like i can't, it's hard to explain holding something that has this weight like i can close my hand over this entire thing if i hold my arm out like it has some legitimate like <laughs> If you took one of these to the dome, like dead on in bag, this thing is so freaking heavy, so cool. Again, I, I think the density of uh, the density of tungsten is like 19.3 grams per uh, centimeter cubed. So this right here is over is over a kilo. Take a pure tungsten would be about th 1,064. This one's about because it has the nickel and the iron, and it's probably just a little bit over a thousand. But you're not gonna, you know, obviously it's very hard to work with 100% tungsten. It's, you're not gonna get the, it's not gonna look as shiny either. You got that nickel in there that gives it that cool look, which I, you know, personally would, would like. So like, to put this in comparison, this carbon cube and this tungsten cube, this tungsten cube weighs, tungsten weighs eight and a half times what carbon weighs. This is a 1.5 inch cube. This is a one inch cube. So the comparison isn't, you know, perfect but tungsten if this was a one inch cube it would weigh eight and a half of these to equal one of these if this was an inch that is so just goes to show you and of course i, th I guess carbon doesn't really have a melting point because it, it technically like will sublimate you know if you heat it up enough it doesn't really turn into a liquid so i guess the melting point of carbon you know it's not a metal it doesn't count whatever but, but just wanted to share this with you again if, if, if you're interested very cool would highly recommend Take it easy.